We are ready to go. So Cursed Hollow, another large map. Now, McIntyre, we were talking about the start of the last game, and then we can continue it here. Why isn't Tyrael valued in North America? <laughs> like, this is an insanely good map for Tyrael. Double boss steal. Like, this used to be the Hanzo this map. This was Tyrael's to. map, too. And this was also Tyrael's map. I mean, I can't tell you how many boss steals I've actually seen from Tyrael's with, with Holy Ground at level 13. So um, is it just one of those things that's just not practiced in North America, so it's just it's just trash? I think that's ex actually exactly <laughs> what it is, yeah. I mean, we've seen now, what, we've watched five weeks in a row, and it seems like NA teams are still just jamming, like, one-shot comps. Like, it seems like every week I agree. we're seeing curse bullet compositions that are built around one-shotting and are very um, inflexible on what their game plan is, right? Uh, whereas... Because there's also... Well, I think oh, with EU ahead, right now, like, it seems to be that they're... They have some other type of strategy that they're playing, right? I I don't know full comps and full drafts. Oh um, no, yeah, you're... but I assume that with that Tyrael pick, their 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 goal is much different than what NA is playing currently. I would say that like in a lot of the games that I was casting, um, the there was definitely like in in I think in NA like people play towards the team fight a lot more, whereas yep. in EU, whereas in EU it's 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 the team fight but also the map. Like, I felt like I saw a lot of things specifically chosen for, for larger maps. Like, I went to a Sky Temple game, and there was a Cursed Hollow game. Dahaka and Falstead were high priorities on yeah. maps like that because they want to be able to control the pressure in the off lane during all these objectives. Now, I didn't see any Vikings, but same thing, like, Samuro. Samuro is really popular in Europe. Yeah. We do have, uh, I believe Valimar is a is a very Sam. strong Samuro player. Yeah. And you can actually, and if you can micro those those clones really well, like Vikings or you know anything like that, like even maybe a Misha Bear, like oh my god, I can't tell you how much Rexar was first picked first. Yeah, I, band I, I, as well. that's like, another one that I see in yeah. you as a lot. And now North North, North America does it does love the bear, but just not as much like where I feel like this would be like an immediate Tyrael or this would be an immediate like Rexar coming out right here, but. Um, Sylvanas was banned out. We do have Ana up and available, so if they want to go into something like that, that could be um, a benefit for them because we did see that the Bayer grenade really hindered some of those late game fights for them on the side of uh, towers here. I, I mean, I, with these bans, I honestly feel like the draft is just so open right now. Like, I feel like there's no strategy that's really banned out. The Grey main first so pick. I mean, that that's all. That's right down my alley, right? I mean, I, I think Grey main is yeah. the best character in the game. So I wrote I wrote down another question earlier today because I was just I was just writing down questions. I was like, well, if we get like a lull, like let me just have something to, to reference really quickly. And so and actually, Maka was bringing this up in chat as well. You know, I think Bullet is overtuned. Are there any heroes in Heroes of the Storm that you would that you would change? Like maybe just like a heroic. Like would you change Greymane's Curse Bullet to just be a different percent based? Would you change it to just be a flat damage? Yeah, I think lesser percent um, at the CD that it is. Because it's at, it's I, 40 right now, right? 40 of current yeah. health pool. But I mean, I'm also a bullet Grayman. I mean, not a bullet. A, a go for the throat Grayman player. Mm -hmm. So I don't play bullet Grayman, even though I know it's absurdly strong. Yeah. I think it takes away a lot of the um, outplay mechanic of the character. Um, and then, your again, your gameplay becomes very linear in the sense of... True, yeah. All you're trying to do is bullet something and then hope that somebody else kills that target. Um, when you play throw Greyman, you're much more based around harassing frontline and then uh, like engaging backline, right? So like that last game, there was a lot of times when like Ana was 10 health, this person's 10 health. Um, yeah, yeah. But we have bullet Greyman, we don't have throat Greyman. And if we had throat Greyman, guess what? Keg, keg W, keg W. Haha, <laughs> I'm immune to, I'm unstoppable while I'm using this animation yeah. and I just eight year on his booty you know it's like because also it, it gives you it gives you another dive in a sense too because you can mm -hmm. dark flight you mm -hmm. can dark flight in you can get your razor swipe all that stuff and you can and you can roll and disengage if you have eyes in the dark that gives you a couple seconds and then you can use go for the throat as a secondary dive again just to engage again so there's very much like you said there's that outplay mechanic but there we go there's i was waiting I for mean, it, it there's going to, to be the samuro I'm and depressed it, it wasn't so banned. I'm I am honestly depressed it wasn't banned. This is a get ready to be frustrated. They do have the Haka. And again, you know, looking back to last week, you remember my one main tip for offlaners against Samuro? Just don't lose. It's like yeah. he's going play, play to be slow. Yeah. He's going slow. to be annoying. It's gonna be frustrating. He's gonna deal damage. But you just have to AFK and let him kind of make peace with the fact that he's kind of 
non-existent outside of being really annoying and trying to one-shot something late game. I, I love this Maev pick because Maev gets Fan and Knives resets on two more heroes being hit by it. Mm -hmm. Samaro pops clones. You sit there and you just roll your face on the Q key for the rest of the fight and you just win. So um, obviously it's not exactly like that, but it's just <laughs> it's more opportunities for, for Q resets. And I actually, I kind of like this. Um, the other thing too is Dahaka might be going into oh, something wow. more like... Oh, that is that is that is that's some, a, spicy that's a pick. lot of aggression from so, teams. Like they are like they're like we're putting our names up on this board. Like we are not giving over. Do we a series? Do we like that pick? That character? I can't. Is it, is it super spicy or like madman status? Uh, I think it's. I think it's like it's like three hundred IQ. Honest uh, to God. Really? Samuro Samuro reduces armor. Okay. Uh -huh. With way of the blade at level one. All right. So let's say let's just let's just let's just say they're reducing armor by to fifteen with way of the blade at level one. Yeah. Rainer's peppering in. Joanna has maybe bless shield. I, let's not even say ten. Let's just say she's using condemn and she's also got the slow as well. Kerrigan has primal grasp and the carnage. Like she's got so much to be able to then dive in and capitalize. Like she is their gray main and she's their go for the gray main. That's that's how I'm seeing this Kerrigan right now. She's the finisher. Like Samuro, Rainer, Joanna, they all set up, and Kerrigan comes in and just ravages, primal grafts. Uh, I th I think I think Keeps has got a really strong team fight. Dahaka's sustain though is something that I'm actually excited about though as well because Hero Stalker is going to be a good tool against these Samuros. But we're here. Let's find, let's find out. Yeah. Let's, let's go see what's happening here on uh, on Cursed Hollow with towers on the left hand side going to be up one in our best of five series. Weary day. Excuse me. Towers is going to be down one in our best of five series. Uh, Funds is going to be on the Dahaka Wolf. Weary Day on that Stukov. Kelsey is going to be on the Gray Main. Got Filth on the Maya and Jachuggy on the Anubarak. And right, looking at Team Keeps, we're going to have Pirate going to be playing that. Rainer, Tiger on the Kerrigan, Porky on the Malfurion, Lupus on the Joanna, and Valmar is going to be rocking a Samuro. I want to take a moment. Can we look at the Dahaka skin? Yeah, uh, one second while we're doing that. They came out can with the we, Master uh, Chief Dahaka skin. That was at BlizzCon get... two years ago. What do we need to change the scoreboard? Yeah, I think we need yeah, keeps to yeah. be. I, so I just I looked over and someone was uh, I was thinking it asking. too. Easy, easy. Well, until then, we'll go ahead and we're going to peek at some level ones. They are going to be going to tissue regeneration for that Dahaka, as we said before. And as, as I was talking about in the, in the draft, the way of the blade at level one for Samura just to get that armor reduction. That's going to be so powerful for them. But a cool thing to note here is that it's going to be reactive ballista spores for the Stukov, and they're expecting the enemy team to dive onto this back line and try and potentially blow them up and that will allow them to get some extra healing in some of these fights when they're when they're you know getting dove on in that back line but right now it seems like we're just going to get into some rotations Funs? around the map funds might be dead here wait funds is dead in the bottom lane right now what a greedy, greedy rotation. I was looking, I was looking for Leoric on the mini map. Nine. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I watched Funds. Like, I wanted to make a note. I was like, okay, wait. Funds just took 75% of his health to the Samro. The Samro's full health. And I was making that note as I watched him walk to the bottom lane as the Dahaka. And then I had three people. There was a Rainer and a Kerrigan. I was like, wait, this guy's just dead here, right? Like... A good rotation there coming out from the side of Keeps to pick up that kill on the Dahaka. And yeah, I guess just punishing lazy rotations, right? I, I think that, that that's, that's a fine case to just dig down as the Dahaka. Uh, you really, you're not going anywhere, right? And your CD will be back up for the first objective. By objective. Yeah, so. it's, it's only 75 seconds. And if you're digging down, I mean, it's, it's timer right now. Like, it's... It, the death and everything, like you now using Brush Talk to get back into bottom lane to now not miss experience, like... That's now you're seeing like, well, do I have enough time? No, you absolutely will. It's only going to be 33 seconds onto that one. I'm actually watching their uh, cooldown on the left side of my monitor. But uh, got filth in this top lane. Just going to try and push in these siege giants. Looks like we have uh, some bruisers from mid lane as Weary Day is going to be here just soaking up in front of the keep front gate. Or excuse me, front, front, uh, fort front gate. Kelsey, you're going to be holding this for a couple seconds, waiting for that to drop into the mid lane. That's a root coming out. Got filth will not go down in top lane. Probably just look to see some push in here in the top lane as the two hard camps. Actually, Valmer, taking a lot of damage, is able to just stealth out of there. But yeah, you can see the two mid camps just kind of hitting each other's heads. And we actually just have a top and bottom lane trade here. As each team is going to pick up a tower, maybe start working towards a wall and potentially a second tower. Uh, this is the proper play on Curse. You really can't rotate to defend the other team, right? No, so you might as well just take what you can and and give them what they can. They actually have a few minions here left alive in the middle lane. Maybe pick up a tower, maybe a wall even. Uh, their stall is okay. 
um, on Team Tower side. That is one thing yeah. I usually like to draft on Curse, at least some sort of stall. I guess both teams stall. Joanna blind, Moonfire is okay. Coming out from side keeps, but Lupus is doing a good job here. Blind up the minions, you know, those will stop dealing damage if you do blind them. Pull them in with Condemn and kind of wave clear out that entire wave. And now we're probably going to see a fight here or a scuttle over this Cursed. Yeah, so they're going to be rotating back up. It looks like there was a bit of a back and forth between Porky and Got Filth. They're going to rotate back. Uh, a brush dot coming in from the Dahaka right on top of Porky. They're looking for the root. Oh, really good root drop. They're going to go ahead and use the uh, Primal Aggression. They get the root onto Malfir, and that will be first blood of the game. Excuse me. First blood of this engagement going over to the side of Towers as they find a second kill right there. They're going to spread that push around a little bit further. They're going to go ahead and have Stukov grab that point. Tahaka rotating back into mid lane, and Valmar just going to throw some cl clones into mid as they rotate all the way into bottom lane. Those two kills have yielded them a little bit extra experience, and that's mm -hmm. why they're going to be seeing them at level 7 ahead of the enemy team. And we also do see that it's going to be the hero, hero stalker at level 4 for them. Um, but Symbiosis for the uh, Dahaka at level 7, which is odd. Typically, we see the um, Feeding Frenzy to get the auto attack cooldown reduction on Tongue Drag. Seems to be more aggressive, but um, this is just going to be... Um, whenever you damage an enemy hero with the Dark Swarm, you're going to reduce its cooldown by 0.4 seconds. But I, I mean, I guess if you just collapsed on by Samuro, Samuro, yeah. yeah, you are going to be able to get the cooldown. So it'll work. We'll see how it all works out as the game progresses. But they find themselves up a little bit more so on the side of towers right now, trying to put themselves on this board on the game on this best of five series. Excuse me. I think it's a solid. It's a solid tech talent choice. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. for the Samuro. Um, and I think that one thing we need to look out for, and something that. I was kind of uh, thinking about during the draft as well as we were hyped over the Kerrigan pick, but I and you had mentioned the Maev pick being really good. It's really good into the Malfurion, right? So like that's one of those matchups that you're going to see this game. Like how well does the Maev pick on that Malfurion? A nice stun combo into the silence. Is he going to be able to blink away? He does make the clones and get away, but he is chunked out, right? Uh, rotating to the objective is probably unlikely for both teams. At this point, we're probably just going to see a trip given. Maybe start up an objective. In this case, there is a boss on the map. And it looks like Team Towers is just going right into it. I like this a lot. This initiative is really nice with that gray man. And we actually see a, a counter boss coming out from side of Keeps. Uh, with that Executioner talent at level 1 on Rainer. I think I talked about it last week. He must be really good at it. As you see, he's just pulverizing this boss. It looks like every two autos is a chunk of the boss's health, right? He might even be faster than gray man with this new talent. Well, I mean, yeah, they actually yeah. just, they, they started that later and they actually picked it up right beforehand. But I mean, 75% increased damage to minions, mercenaries, and monsters. And then if you're inspired, it's 125. Woo! That's a big old chunk right there for you. But it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a 10-10 fight or a, you know, a 10 oh. talent your down fight or anything like that. It's just going to be both teams utilizing the boss to push through the bottom or top lane. Um, looking at 10 talent here is really nothing too out of the ordinary. Dahaka holding, but I, I don't expect this to be at a This is a base race. This. This is a base yeah, race I mean, right now, Baja. They're going, they're going to the core. This is Curse Hall. This is Curse... Oh, no. This is... Have guys, come... Have I was going to say, this is Curse Hollow, by the way, Baja. You get a boss, and then the first team that wimps out loses. But it looks like, in this case, both, both teams, teams are going to wimp out. Yeah. Oh, they're both going to lose. Oh, the tongue <laughs> drag, but it's a, it's a clone from Samuro. So Greyman clears that top lane boss. Bottom lane will be Raynor and Kerrigan. They give this over. That'll be Weary Day getting the channel, and they go up two to one when it comes to the curse points on the side of Towers. Looking to curse into the enemy team. Structure-wise, though, across the board, it's pretty much equal, just asymmetrically. Yeah, we got the nice mirror match. Quite literally, as we see both teams picking up the hard camp. They're both going to push into mid. They're both going to clear the hard camp. Then the trip's going to spawn. And the one yep. factor that is not even is the side of towers does have two out of three curse so that is going to be a curse fight that needs to happen for the side of keeps and they are going to have to come out the victors there maybe trying to you know prolong the game so the samurai gets value and pyra actually caught out of position by the may have pulled in but lupus does a good job tiger as well to counter engage combo is going to connect on the great man the twilight as well chijogi doing his best to peel porky off but kaiser gets away with 10 health and a counter pull onto the joanna Fighting into that spell war, though, might not be the play. Gawkill does get a double pull into a nice silence from the Sukov. Bullet Ooh. is going to connect as well, picking down the Malfurion. And Mev might be looking for some more here. Potential late pull. Chooses not to. Lupus shouldn't have Unstoppable either. But a really good counter, 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 counter engage 
As God it just, yeah, pulled everything into the mouth of your hand, into the silence. Everyone countered each other and just, uh, yeah, that was, I, I was watching the entire thing. I was just like, dear Lord, this just does not end. Um, there was some amazing, there was an amazing tongue drag, uh, once again, for funds, as you can actually see, they're constantly trying to harass onto the Smurl because they're just filling up the essence bar for themselves. Um, they are 25 seconds from the brush stocks. So they're probably going to clear mid lane, maybe make a, maybe make a physical rotation to top through the brushes, but they do have 13 talents here advantage for the time being. Um, with that, they can kind of flex and it looks like they're actually going to pull to Haka from go rotating the top and they're all going to maybe just push in through mid lane as a five stack with their talent to your advantage and that might be enough to threaten the enemy team from even trying to dissuade them from me from taking down this mid lane tower this is always like a weird philosophy question of curse hollow and the fact that you, should you rotate and we're, we're actually about to see it and we're going to kind of get a, a weird okay well funds gets a 1v1 against tiger here he's going to do his best to juke funds just oh nice tiger nice gets hit. away here yeah a good a good yeah, w read yeah. There's no feeding friends or anything, so Funs it's not like they got... might... You uh, could kill it's him. Off cooldown in... It's off cooldown in, like, one second. Wait, you're just gonna auto-attack him down with the 13 talent? Tongue drags up. Tongue drags up. I don't even... Yeah, I don't oh, even think wait, he'll do it at the tail. Oh, no! <gasps> Oh, 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 Missed the tongue oh, drag. He's gonna go to the minions. Isol Tiger, goes, Tiger goes to the minions here. He I know the there's minions. a whole curse happening across the map, but let's focus. Yeah, yeah. This is this is where the action's no. at. Wait, the ice storm popped. He isolation late, and they just dip. That's no. it. Funs, come on. No. <laughs> Wait, don't we hand out Flip red it. cards? Don't we hand out red cards? That's that's definitely a yellow card. <laughs> oh my. That's at least a yellow card right there. I don't. I, my whole philosophy question just went out of the window because the philosophy of funds is push top, miss, fail the kill, and then try to 3v1 stall. Actually, I like this philosophy a lot. If you look in the bottom lane, stop that. Oh, yeah. okay. Red card has been given. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I need to take a walk, Baja. Did, did the chat, someone saw that, right? Am I going insane or did funds just allow that person to back because he tried to be cute and land a tongue instead of just walk up and auto the rainer? Not that it matters, but it kind of does. I, I don't know. What, I'm, I'm over that, it. I'm over it. I'm sometimes over you got to go for that flash and flare, you know? I Sometimes. I, <laughs> sometimes you're sometimes you you're Colorado School of Mines and you just main tank Asmodee on Volskaya Foundry and hard carry with a Maev. That happened. That was a thing. <laughs> let's, Colorado let's, School of Memes. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's pray for funds that he doesn't get five-man death. Ball uh, it looks like they they want He's they, got they the know intuition. the vision. So so I can I can see vision on my end. So I'm, I'm I currently have the vision like blocked off mm -hmm. for funds, and I'm just seeing them literally just rotate back and forth blindly, just trying to hopefully grab the Dahaka or anyone in the rotation. But the one thing they don't realize is there's a boss, but a new brack actually will go into the brush over here. No 16 talent to near the side. So I think they're gonna break off because a fight on either in either direction. Oh wait, Maya drops the Warden's cage. There's gonna be a great route from Malfurion. They still manage to get away here as the brush talk comes out from from funds as the Hyperion comes out as well. This corridor is the best place for the members of Keeps to really fight him because they have a lot of value in here with that Hyperion as well as the Kerrigan diving in, but it doesn't look like they continue the engagement. They're gonna back off, cycle back around and look to maybe get another collapse with 16 talents here, not too far off. Shield Glare coming out, Mac. Yeah, it looks like they really just need to go and make a sandwich and now the sandwich is right made. Level 16 is here. They just needed to hang out, be idle and look for the fight. They might force the boss, right? Uh, actually, Okay, we got uh, Joanna going down there, face checking into the brush, probably catching a tongue to the Ooh. lips, um, getting taken out there. A good pick, and potentially more to come as we see Chijogi playing pretty aggressive. The ISO is going to connect. Isolation. The dig does get over the root on the ground. Tiger could get a big combo here, but a Twilight is going to connect, picking up the Anubarak. Tiger getting saved by Weary Day there, getting pushed away. So a one for one one for one we lost our tank now no boss has been collected no tribute has been collected i guess we're just going to collect our 200 dollars um pasco man pasco that's that it looks like the play a potential could have been a double boss curse Me we meanwhile these siege giants i just want to point this out these siege giants showed up at the start of that whole boss kerfuffle and they just got a fort during all that <laughs> hey, it just Chad, goes to show you hey, how much kerfuffling was happening Chet, learn, any, le learn something from this game. Camps will push and take down structures. Just a, a fun fact, if you did not know. 
<laughs> boss from bottom lane to be grabbed as well as for top lane. They're going to clear out the Siege Giants in bottom lane because they don't want the same thing to happen to their fort as it did on the side of Keeps. But a uh, curse will be coming through. No actual like curse potential for either side, but still we'll get them that advantage point and they could maybe well curse them in the next round after the, when that pops up. But it's even talent tiers across the board. 17 level advantage as Anubrek will hearth back. And I'm just curious how they're going to play into this. Actually, Kelsey or Weird Day hearthing back as well? No. A game of chicken. That is all that we are watching here. They have to go for the trip. The Hawka needs to be back on defense now, though. Yeah. I think at this point, if they position properly, uh, they could have gotten the trip there for free. Oh. But God, now Kelsey they're just, in a the situation. The Umbro Bind pulled the Joanna yeah. in range for the <laughs> yeah. shield glare. I'm sorry. I'll, I, I saw it. I'll call it. <laughs> That, like... So nothing happens. Actually... They actually just give it. They're they're giving the trip, so they lose the trip, and they lose the keep, too. Like, this boss, not having everyone there for this boss is gonna it's cause... Slapping for 565, yeah. Oh, my... Oh, my gosh. And in the bottom oh, lane, mom, too, they're fighting over <laughs> yeah. the hard camp, too. Is this just a full-on punt that I'm watching happening in real time? The collapse I, I just, of I, Team I, Towers? I was just looking at the difference between the boss auto damage and, the, and Stukov's auto damage really quickly, which, by the way, the difference between the two damages is, is about 40, and that's in favor for the boss. Stukov's hitting for, like, 520-something right now. Um, but either way, yeah, they give over a free keep. They give over the uh, objective, and this is going to be bottom lane spawn for the next objective, and they're looking to maybe push this lane out a little bit further for themselves on the side of keeps. Yeah, they just need to start working this bottom fort. Open up the bottom lane, especially with that trip spawning. Um, you know, they're, they're down well advantage now. And if the building goes down as well, then they'll be down the protection, is, right? Yeah. It's just is not... This is just... It's it's not unwinnable. But I think the position that keeps this gotten their team into going into this fight is, is very advantageous. Um, even though we see, see, like, they're actually down XP, right? Uh, just from their split from mm -hmm. that Dahaka. It looks oh, like yeah, they no, might just, uh, just opt to eat this curse, actually. What's up? Yeah, Dahaka's, I was, just, I was just looking at some of the numbers right now. Dahaka's siege right now is, uh, or excuse me, experience contribution is like 17.5K, whereas Samuro's like 15.4. Mm -hmm. So yeah, def definitely a lot coming out from that Dahaka. But right now, I mean, they're cursed and that Dahaka's pushing top lane. Like they need that Dahaka back or to look for a flank through the bottom lane brush. We'll have to see what happens here is this is going to be a lot of pressure through bottom lane. You can see the Hyperion coming out from Rainer. No 20 talent to your advantage for either side just yet, but they're looking to push up onto a keep, potentially get that consistent catapult pressure in their favor on the side of keeps. Maybe even go up 2-0 in our best of five series. The Haka's back now, McIntyre. No 20 talents here, but the web wrap does come out. And Pirates caught out there from the Mav. Twilight might connect from Porky. It is going to be a three-man Twilight. And Stukov just mashed down from the... Samuro on the back line. Valor Kelser as well taking a ton of damage. That Twilight was massive. Tiger just Ooh. taken out of nowhere. Godfield may be able to get out of there as well. Porky taking so much damage. Funds just doing a great job with that Swarm Town at 7 to do a bunch of AoE damage. Kelser trying his best to pick up the kill on Porky. Funds has now decided that he wants to wave clear the minions instead. Which, honestly, not a bad idea. They're going to be able to keep that keep alive. Keep that keep alive. What a sentence. And... It does fall here, but is the core exposed? Is that enough defense, you think, to keep them alive? What what timers are we looking at for the bosses here? Uh, we got one minute on the bottom left and one minute 12 on the top right. So about Ooh. a minute for both of the bosses. Tongue Drag did connect onto Valimar, but they're going to be able to get themselves out of there. Wait, maybe not. Oh, he's juking. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to critique that Chijugi's stun was missed there. Um on a stunned Dahaka target. And as a Dahaka player, my heart sank. Um, because Funz landed a tongue on the real Samro in keep range, mm -hmm. and he samro away. They had negative ten, 10 armor, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they, were, they were ready <laughs> to die, so but... Uh... Upsetting. Oh. It's 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 a rough go. Like it's it's one of those games that like honest to god, a lot of this early game was very much in favor for towers. They had mm -hmm. some good momentum. They had a lot of good early good uh, early game picks. Like they got the first curse. They got a lot of value from said curse. They had that first pressure on the bottom lane keep. But ever since, I'd say roughly 16 talent here, things have kind of gone sideways. 
and I won't say it's just the Samuro, but that definitely is a power spike for said Samuro. I mean, press the attack is such a huge talent for, set for a Samuro player, but it is 20 talents here to 20 talents here. We're looking to see if there's going to be an engagement. Tiger JK is going to lunge forward. They're looking to get the Primal Grass. They don't manage to get the combo into the Anubarak to Chuggy sidestepping a lot of that damage while the, uh, uh, excuse me, while the Dahaka is still pushing out in bottom lane. I think a lot of this has come down to actually Tiger doing a really good job of playing that Kerrigan as well. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like in these team fights, you know, Team Towers will go after the Malfurion and then Tiger gets like a massive re-engage. Um, which is why Funz is actually doing such a, a good job. And we'll see him with the Isolation Talent 20. The web is going to connect onto the Joanna. Samuro doing his best to knock him out. It's going to be a full all-in engage there on a Pirate, but a Twilight, a Bl Joanna Bless Shield. Everyone on retreat from Team Tower is even Stukov falling down there in the south side of the region of our screen. Valmore is going to be able to pick up the Maev. Uh, disaster. I'm not even... I, I can't replay in my head what just happened, but I assume Tiger hit like a big combo or something. It seemed like... Tiger they... actually... Tiger got a... Um, what is it? Carnage? Impaling Blades, excuse me. They got Impaling Blades on two in the back line and had Maelstrom, and they just sat there for a couple seconds, and they weren't able to help with the friendly team. So there was actually an insanely, like, 300 IQ once again uh, just picked from Tiger here. And, I mean, I, I said it in the draft. I was saying that I love this, the way that they're going to play this dive composition, and we're seeing it here. This You can see the core defense mechanism uh, popping up. It's kind of like... Thunderstorms around them, it does reduce people's armors by 75%, but that core still falls, and that'll be game number two over the side of Keeps. GG. Well played. Yeah, an, an awesome, awesome re-engage. Again, yeah. I feel like their team just did that so well all game. Um, punishing that commitment. We saw, I want to say, at least three fairly massive Twilight Dreams coming out from Porky. Um, you know, even... even the two two man dreams were really good, but in those last yeah. fights, it seemed like he was hitting four to five man dreams, right? Um, yeah, I think it was like Stukov and Greymane got caught in the back line in the bottom yeah. bottom of our screen. Bottom screen, like that. yeah. And, and then in that just, bottom yeah. fight, it was he hit Greymane, Mayev, Dahalka, and Noob. Yeah, like, it was massive, massive advantage for them right there, but uh. All right, well, we know what one team wants for game number two, so we'll figure out what the map's going to be here in just a second. And uh... I have an argument to make. Okay. Gray main, Curse Bullet. Could have had Throat. Could have actually killed things that got really low, but instead was like, hey, look, dude, I'm doing a bunch of damage to the Joanna, like the one target we probably aren't killing. Look at my massive damage instead of like, hey, I'm going to just kill someone in the back line when we dive said person, right? And the other thing is it's an outplay mechanic in the sense that you can throat Twilight Dream. 